Today we have a great easy fish recipe. You're gonna love it. The reasons that people don't cook fish, or what they tell me, is that either it's too expensive, or that it's too hard. Fish is overcooked, fish is undercooked, I burned it, you know, I hear the whole gamut. With this recipe, it's really foolproof. We're gonna cook it in the oven, basically bathed in olive oil at a low temperature. And with all that olive oil, it's really hard to dry the fish out, and it's very simple. Now I went to the store and I picked the cheapest fresh fish that I could find and I found catfish. This type of recipe is often made with something like halibut or salmon, but I know those things are often too expensive for people to get, uh, so I'm making it with catfish. If you want to do it with either of those fishes, I've done it before, it's fantastic, but the catfish works well also and will last you for a couple days afterwards to have fresh fish in the fridge and because it's cooked in olive oil, it really won't dry out after a couple days in the refrigerator. Okay, we've got our fish in our dish and we're going to sprinkle with a little bit of salt and pepper here. Some kosher salt and some freshly ground pepper, black pepper. And now we're gonna put our aromatics on top of our fish. And we've got two herbs and then some slices of lemon and a blood orange here to put on top. So we're just gonna take a couple slices of each of those. So we're just gonna put these slices right on top of our fish. And then we're gonna pick our herbs. And I love dill with fresh fish, so I've got some freshly picked dill, and then some tarragon as well to give it just a little more flavor. And as it cooks, the flavors will infuse all the way through the fish. And now to kind of give it a little bit of extra flavor, we're just gonna take a couple of these uh, Kalamata black olives and put them around the edges. If you don't wanna use the Kalamata olives, you can use capers, they'd be great as well. All right, and now we're just gonna pour olive oil almost a cup of olive oil, just kind of all over the fish and around the sides. And that olive oil is gonna cook slowly and infuse flavor into these fillets. Okay, we're just gonna pop it in the oven and I'm gonna put it in at 300. You can also cook this at 250, but sometimes I get a little impatient because then it takes a really long time. That can take up to an hour or more. With these size fillets at 300, it'll take maybe 30 minutes, but you just have to check it frequently to see if the fish is starting to flake. Or if you have a thermometer, you can just pop it in and get that fish to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, it looks like our fish is cooked just at the right temperature, about 145 and flakes through. We're gonna go ahead and take it out and just let it rest for a minute. All right, we've got our olive oil poached fish and we're going to plate it and it looks just beautiful, smells so good. You might be worried that you're cooking it in all this oil that the fish becomes unhealthy, but we used a really healthy oil, olive oil, and that oil that we started to cook with is still here around the fish. So maybe a little bit kind of seeps in through it, but not too much where you have to worry about getting too much fat. Uh, so we're just gonna serve this, and, and I like to serve this just on a side of greens because this fish with the olive oil is just so rich that you don't need much else with it. I'm just gonna put it kind of right there on the side. Okay, we ready for the taste? Let's go. So as you see, the fish is just perfectly cooked, moist on the inside, it was so easy. The catfish is a meaty fish, and it is so smooth with that olive oil. You can just taste all the flavor and the herbs and the lemon and the olives. Wow, it is just fantastic. You can't go wrong with this fish dish. It's so easy. On our website, we've got lots of other great recipes for promoting a healthy lifestyle, breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, snacks, stews, you name it. Please join us, thecookingdoc.co. See you next time. Thank you for watching The Cooking Doc. Healthy cooking made simple and delicious.